The Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum theft occurred on March 18, 1990, when two men posing as police officers gained access to the museum in Boston and stole 13 works of art worth an estimated $500 million. The stolen works included masterpieces by Rembrandt, Vermeer, Degas, and Monet. The thieves tied up the museum's security guards and spent 81 minutes inside the museum, carefully selecting and removing the artworks from their frames. Despite an extensive investigation by the FBI, the art has never been recovered and the thieves have never been identified. The theft remains one of the largest and most significant art heists in history, and the case continues to attract attention from the public and law enforcement. The museum has offered a reward of $5 million for information leading to the recovery of the stolen works and the arrest of the perpetrators. Over the years, numerous theories and leads have emerged, but none have led to the recovery of the stolen art. The empty frames of the stolen work still hang on the museum's walls as a reminder of the unsolved crime, and the search for the stolen masterpieces continues.